Hey guys, Brickayo here, and welcome back to another city update. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to be preparing for another video. So, I got my second copy of Sesame Street, so I want to combine it with my first copy and then sort of modularize Sesame Street and put it right here. Maybe not on this base plate, but put it right here. But before I do that, there are a couple modifications I need to make to Chen's Noodle House um, in order to make that work. But yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video where we will be combining this Sesame Street with this Sesame Street and making a, a big Sesame Street. But this video, we're focusing on Chen's Noodle House. Um, so over on this side, this is the wall that's going to face Sesame Street, and you'll see right here um, that there's a little lip um, right here. And there's actually a window that jetted out right here. I've already gone in and patched that. Um, it was exactly like this window where it stuck out by half a stud. Um, and that looked cool, but the way I've sort of designed Sesame Street is I need, I need Sesame Street to be able to be flush with this building, so I'm going to have to sort of remove this second layer. And I thought instead of just pushing the window in, uh, that window would end up sort of just being covered up by uh, Hooper's store, which is going to go next to it. So I just got rid of it. And I don't know, I might get rid of it on this side too. I don't think that this side will interfere with anything going forward, but uh, this side did. So I had to change that. But while that modification would have been simple by itself, um, I decided that I was going to update quite a few things, which is what sort of prompted me to start recording. Um, as you can see, I've gone ahead and sort of changed out the floor. So the floor used to be all these uh, two by two round um, teal plates, uh, but I switched over to tiles because I found that I actually had enough in dark gray in order for, to make this work. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that because this is kind of what I wanted to do the whole time anyways. Another small change in this sink, I'm able to use these sparkly light blue round tiles from, from the Dots uh, series, Dots like series one, the like bag. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and just, I don't know, it's nice. Sliding this back in the corner, hopefully, yeah. That worked out pretty okay. So there we go on the inside. Uh, oh no, that knife. <laughs> There's still some some components that are loose. I'll get that later. But yeah, things are kind of studded down. Uh, this back door, I have a I I have ordered a part for it, um, but it was in a bricks and pieces order um, that is not here yet, and it probably still will be a little ways off. So um, yeah, there's no door for that, but one is on the way. So. That will be complete then. But yeah, I really, really like how this turned out. Um, the only other change that I really need to make is this door. So I ordered this yellow door because in the show, um, the door is yellow. But I kind of hate the red and yellow. Um, I don't know, it just it looks weird. In order to be sort of accurate to the show, I think I would probably need to have um, the rest of the building be sort of a dark red. Um, that's That would be this color, but I just don't have the pieces for that. Um, but I think one change I could make, and this is kind of the way it is in the show, is it's kind of a yellow door, uh, but it's like clear, um, but I don't really want to do that. But I have this yellow door, and if I just put a white frame around it, I don't know. I think, I think it's just the red and the yellow next to each other that doesn't look really real. Like, I don't know, it, it just, it looks too much like a toy to me right now, uh, but I think if I just replace the frame... It might look better. So there we go, and I am really not used to looking at it like that, but I, but I do think that that is a lot better. Um, so that I will definitely be keeping that. But yeah, there's the sort of the, the first floor. So let's deal with the second floor now. So I've removed kind of that um, black border, and I really put it there to just cover up this sort of green edge. Um, but again, this will be right next to a building, so like most of it will be covered up. Um, not all of it, all the way out here, but. Um, I don't know, if there's a little bit, then I might just cover it up, um, what's left. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, this stayed pretty much the same. Um, again, I have a door coming, but it's not here yet. But there will be a door there. And yeah, other than that, I mean, it's pretty much, uh, pretty much standard as it is. So yeah, here it is back in the city, and, uh, I mean... Not much change, so it still looks pretty proper, but I do think that that, uh, that really just helps me. I don't know. It looked kind of weird before, um, 
but I still like it, and you can still see Skylar through the window there, which I do like. And yeah, the plan is to put Sesame Street kind of right here. Um, obviously, it'll be modified, but um, Hooper's store will pretty much still be on this corner, and so it'll cover up that stripe because I plan to kind of have a wall here. Um, so that will cover up, and but there will be a little bit in the back that won't be covered up. Um, another thing that I could maybe do is right now in my current design for Sesame Street, I don't really have a way for minifigures to get up to uh, the second level of the store. So maybe I could like kind of try to connect that up with this stuff right here where there's a ladder and then a ladder to get onto the roof. Um, but I could sort of extend that to come around and then that's how you get up, maybe. I don't know. Um, is Cookie Monster in on the, the, the Serpentine Cult? I mean, he certainly probably has, like, some back alley cookies. Like, maybe Chen pays Cookie Monster um, in cookies to keep quiet about all their shady stuff. I don't know, you know? But that that's a problem for another day. But that's going to do it for this quick city update. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this and you're new, leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot, and I do appreciate it. With that, I will see you in the next one. Bye.